Okay, this video is about uh, System 7, uh, modifying the files. I'm going to kind of give you a little bit of uh, how to get into the access of uh, Totem Tribe Gold. Um, if you have XP, I'll, I'll show you the videos that uh, talk about actually modifying the videos. And uh, you can actually see those videos if you want to know uh, which line does what, you know, how to modify hit points and that stuff. So, this is for System 7. When I did Totem Tribe, the original one, I only had a computer. I had a laptop with uh, Windows XP. So, now I have a computer with uh, System 7. So, to access uh, the files through System 7, go into your computer. Go into the C drive. Program file X... 86 okay now if you uh, want to go into totem tribe you know there's totem tribe you go into the data file the CFG and here's all your uh, files some of these files you will not touch okay if you watch the video the Totem Tribe video will show you which files to you can uh, mess with. But understand this is if you mess up your game because you made a mistake by following these videos, guess what? I will not give you a free game. I will not send you a file. Uh, my advice is just re-download the game and it will fix your files. Okay. So we're going to go into Totem Tribe Gold. Okay. Data. Data. CFG. Now, one thing about uh, t System 7, which is a little bit different and I didn't understand, is a lot of times you cannot modify uh, files, which is kind of silly because uh, I'm set up as the administrator. So, But there's something that um, is about System 7 that you act actually have to go in and make it where uh, you can modify the file. So... Let's see. Here's unit, and I'll show you the uh, video location. So, say we want to modify the uh, warriors, workers, uh, scouts. Before you uh, modify the file, you have to go into, you know, left click it once. Don't double click it. Uh, so, right click it, get into properties. You got the general tab, go into security tab. Now, you have system administrators and users. Now, on the users, so you know is uh, you'll only see the read and execute and read click checked. You will not see these other uh, check marks. So what you have to do is if you're missing those other check marks, uh, make sure you go into edit, click the users. Okay, this is what it will show in the beginning. So just click on full control, make sure everything's clicked. Go apply. Okay. Okay. Now to modify the unit, let's. I already modify them, but to modify the unit, you go open with. Now I like WordPad, but you can use Notepad if you want, you know. And then you can see I've already did some modifications. The worker starts with uh, 700, not 7,000. So, you know, you can go down and modify everything. Once you get to the enemies, just so you know, you actually have to go beyond, and then you start getting into the uh, Aruku and Guru, Guru, I don't know how you pronounce it, Aruku Scout, Mortal, yeah, Alien Spawn, one hit kill, just kidding, well, there's that Firefly, and then you got some other NPCs, Monkey Chief, uh, you can, you know, there you go. Okay. And then just make sure that, you know, you save. Okay. So that's pretty much uh, how you get into uh, uh, being able to modify for System 7. Now, let me go this. Okay. Let me... Here are the... Totem Tribe original where I talk about modifying each aspect of the game. You 
It's being slow. Okay. So let me do this. Okay. If you want to see how to modify the uh, buildings and what aspects of uh, each is in the file, go to this web address. Just leave it on for a few seconds so you can see it. Well, you can always freeze, uh, pause the video. Okay. Here's how to modify the spells and research and the temple. And here's the actual modifying the uh, villagers and in the army. And just remember, in Totem Tribe Gold, there is a uh, guard tower. So they had the guard tower, and I think it's the... I want to say it's the Guardian. I'd have to look. So th those are the uh, three, three videos you can watch. Like I said, is if you mess up the game... Well, it's on you. Okay. I'm going to show you the program I use to modify the colors of the uh, Totem Tribe. You know, always, before you modify anything, make a, back, a backup file. Okay, so System 7. Oh, I use, fa just so you know, I use Fastone Image Viewer. It's a great program. It's It's free. It's better than paint too. Okay, you'll go on to local disk program file x86. If you want to go into Totem Tribe, it's here. Uh, you can go so it's Totem Tribe Gold Data Texture Game, and then you go into Item. Okay, so it's the same for Totem Tribe Data Texture game item see okay so let's go back to this okay so this pretty much covers all your items if you want to mess around with them now the one thing I like about fast stone image viewer is okay you can see I put like a board around each gem and yeah they stand out so Let's see, effects, border effect. You have to play around with this. If I try to come back in, a lot of times it's still... It's, it's easier the first time you modify it. <laughs> yeah. When, the first time you uh, modify uh, the gems, it will not look like that. It's For some reason, when you come back, it uh, messes it up. So, you know, just, uh, you know, you just double-click the... Uh, you know what you want to modify you know you have your effects colors and I can adjust the colors and go for red less red more saturation and then you just save it so that's it let's uh, you know have fun enjoy the game